Hello, hello, hello. We are live with today's stream. So I'm just gonna share that on all of the social medias and then we'll hop into the game. It is Friday. Uh, so we are starting with, as per normal, Animal Crossing. And then later on, going to be switching to some um, Earthbound Beginnings. Finally starting on that. Uh, we have two Gracie visits at Animal Crossing today, so fingers crossed we get uh, stuff we need from those. Oh, did I... Did I change the previous command? I think so. Yes. Yes, I did. Excellent. It's so normally also F before stream, I also test, I change it and I test it. Change it if I didn't test it, which is why my brain was like, wait. Anyway, let's just hop right into some Animal Crossing and get started. Hey, Snake. Uh, yes. March 18th, 3.06 p.m. Trantor. That's all good. All good in the neighborhood. I am Rick, your mirror. I look like a dinosaur. Okay. Okay. Who do we have that's new and is it one of the villagers we actually haven't had yet? Uh, Cleo's not. Oh, Patty, I think, is new, but we have had her before. Yeah, so Patty, where was it? Right here, but is the one that moved in for today, but we have had her at some point in the past. Obviously, a different version, so she won't remember us, but. Okay, what do we got in the mail? Some amber. Good stuff, good stuff. Can never get enough amber. Tail of a T-Rex, excellent, excellente, and an Apatosaurus tail, ooh, two tails, a tail, a tail of two cities, a tail of two dinosaurs, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll workshop that, uh, Rio move to Praetorius, Tom Nook with a stunning blue golf bag, HRA, Need some love in your life? Well. Okay. Anything on the message board? Yes. Acre F5. Valuable treasure. Okay. Well, we're getting closer and closer to the Spring Sports Fair. That's on Monday. We're currently on Friday. So just, uh... Close to make getting our furniture going up by one. But I mean, hey, we're at the point where, like, you know, every little bit of progress, you know, progress is slow, but, but steady. Like, we, or we, we know when m most progress is. Obviously, we could be getting some progress on clothing today. We might not. That's down to RNG, but, you know, it is what it is. Weed. So how's everyone doing today? Hopefully you're having a good Friday. Good start to your weekend, if indeed it is your weekend. Fossil number one. Tons of fun. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so, yeah, for me I still have to work tomorrow, but... Just a six hour shift tomorrow. 6 a.m. to 12.30, so that's not too bad. Next two Saturdays are far worse. Next one is... Next one was originally 10 a.m. to 5.30. Now it's 9 a.m. to 5.30, so... Slightly more annoying, but not... End time is the more annoying bit than the beginning time, so... You know, the extra... Well, being at work for an extra hour next Saturday is kind of annoying. 
least it was tacked on to the beginning and not the end. Following Saturday has improved somewhat though. Originally I was scheduled for 2 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. a closing shift, which would have meant wouldn't have been able to stream Animal Crossing that day. Not even like a like, I mean, I could have done, I guess, a late, very late stream, but, like, Nooks would be closed, like, I would still be able to, I guess, get a song from KK Slider, but that would be about it. Now, though, that's Saturday, that's in two weeks from now, I'm only working, um, now I'm working instead, uh, 10 a.m. to 6.30, which still will mean later stream that Sat. I mean, let's be honest, most of my Saturday streams are late as is, but that will for, for sure be late. <laughs> but yeah. Actually, I guess really the next two Saturdays, like not tomorrow, but like next week Saturday and Saturday after that will probably both in th theory be uh, I plan to start both of them at the same time. Obviously, we'll see. But because actually, yeah, because next week Saturday, even though I'm off at 5.30, whereas the one after I'm at 6.30, one where I'm off at 5.30 is also my grocery shopping Saturday, because I grocery shop every other Saturday after, you know, Saturday after payday, I always do my grocery shopping, so because of that, that'll still be not quite the same time that I'll get home, but like close to the same time between those two Saturdays. Although I do need to also check with my manager about next week Saturday, because Normally, I, I do, you know, I work at a grocery store, for anyone who doesn't know. Normally, I work in bulk. Well, Saturday is often I'm scheduled, for, scheduled for produce, and specifically all, because, like, bulk is under the produce department. And also, even aside from that, if when I'm done at a normal shift when I'm in bulk, if I finish early, which I generally do, I then head over to produce. But next week... Saturday I'm scheduled for the salad bar, so I'm not sure if that was intentional or a mistake. It's like, it's like, once you have to be trained on salad bar, or if you just accidentally throw it. Or if it's just a thing where it's just like, had more hours to, because of the way our, because I think each of the salad bar has its hours separately from pros. If you just had extra salad bar hours, to give out, so then he scheduled it as that, but still won't be in produce. I'll have to check with him on that. Uh, turn off, so wouldn't be selling them even if we had them today. Or not here, at least. Obviously, there's a ton of other towns we have, and presumably we'll be creating yet another one today, I think. What are we up to? How many towns do we have so far? One, two, six. We're at nine towns. So today we'll be creating town number ten. Into the double digits. And we're staying in the double digits. We're going to be having a total of 18 towns. That's the plan. No need for any more beyond that. Jasmine Bonsai and Vaulting Horse. 18 towns because I'm some kind of redonkulous person who does redonkulous things. Uh, good day, Mint. How's it going? How are you doing? Oh, can't keep my nose on the grindstone all the time. I mean, we, you, you, got, you gotta do what you gotta do. Talk to me. Uh, doing chores that benefit the entire... I do clear the entire village, Mint. I'm the only one that clears the weeds in this town. I have planted literally every tree in this town. I have, you know, completed the museum. I've got nooks t fully upgraded to nooking tins. Like... Um... I decided where to put the third bridge. Which I think was this one. I, you know, the I keep this town running smoothly. I turn on the lighthouse while Tartamore was on vacation. I clear out the fossils. 
you know, find the fossils, or at least try to find the fossils every day. And the reason that, you know, there's not a lot of junk lying around in town. Have you seen some of our neighboring towns? Like Pretorus and Meltork 4? Trantor is such a beautiful town in comparison. Uh, oh. Okay, Snake's planning on moving. Good to know. Also, only found one fossil so far. And no money rock yet. No glowing spot yet. Okay, well, I'm just gotta keep on our toes. Keep vigilant. And things will reveal themselves to us. Fossil number two. How about you? to the museum and what is our current visitor situation oh we should have Katrina yeah Katrina but she won't be here till nine so we won't be seeing her today we might see her tomorrow uh anything lost nothing lost okay yeah, we might see Katrina tomorrow. Depends, because... Well, as I was saying earlier, Saturdays are often... I tend to start at 6 p.m., but that often doesn't happen. Oh, right! Lumbar on side. Uh, that was the thing that, uh... Somebody had buried. Ozzy, maybe? There's Cap'n. Alright, take us to the island. We're not going to this island, but we will be going to presumably one of my other islands. Here's fossil number three, just for me. Okay. Okay, now I'm feeling, I was feeling a bit worried when we got up to the police station and hadn't found a second fossil yet, then we found a second one there and I found a third one. And now I'm like, okay, now not, we're, we're doing alright. Obviously it's still possible we missed one. Oh, and here's the glowing spot, which I apparently can't aim my sh shovel at all. Third time's the charm. A thousand bells. Okay. Is there a weed back here? No. Oh, I thought there was a something with a shadow or something from the tree. Um, okay. Done on this side of the river. Although we never didn't see Ozzy, so we still need to keep our eyes open for him. Here's a weed. Okay. Still need, yeah, talk to Ozzy and everyone that lives on this side of the river. Two more fossils and the money rock. Plus any remaining weeds. Like this one. And that's the way. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You do it. How's. Oh, yeah, we still need to, need to figure out. Oh. Hey, Lucy. I need to figure out what my next town is going to be. Just hanging. Um, yeah. Oh, well, here's Ozzy. It, um, do you want to continue doing like you know, fan crew? you doing like, you know, towns with the command crew of the UES Unity. Um, I need to decide which ones. So I really should have looked up 
I look at the character list beforehand, because I think I have that on my computer somewhere. Otherwise I'll have to... I definitely have... I definitely have stuff with the characters in places, but if I have to actually, like, skim through stories to find that, that would be less helpful than just, like, finding, oh, here's a character list. I want to at some point to use some of the characters from Chrono Hustle. Well, other than, you know, Beyond Abigail, who we already are using because she was a addition to that cast from originally from. Well, as I say, originally from Simple Complications. Technically, originally from the new Custess, those characters then got used for simple complications, and now for Custos Novum, which is a much better translation. Uh, it's back when I was first creating those characters. It was like, okay, I want the Latin term for guardians, and I thought it was Custe. Well, see, Cust is guardian. Or Cust, or I actually don't know the pronunciation. I thought Custes was how you, like, pluralized it. Nowadays, it's much easier to find information on, like, translating Latin online, so I'm like, oh, Custodes. I also decided to, instead of doing, you know, the mixing of the languages with new Custodes, go, like, you know, fully Latin of new guardians, Custodes, Novum. Fossil number four, just one more. version of Abigail who was in Simple Complications also you know went and switched and joined the series of Chrono Hustle during one of those crossovers between them. Aspects for my current series so it's no aspects of Chrono Hustle will still be used and such. I haven't decided exactly what all is and isn't canon. Um Fossil number five, or oh, oh, obviously anything post like Abigail joining isn't canon because you know we have Abigail in you know Custodes Novum and not uh, and you know slightly different version of her and such, and we had some complications and whatnot. Who we already talked to. It's always a tricky thing. When doing, like, you know, a reboot or whatever. Because that's essentially what this is. This is essentially me rebooting. Well, kind of, it's kind of a reboot and common. It's kind of a reboot a couple different things and then them being combined together, kind of. Because I'm basically taking literally everything I've ever written and kind of throwing it all together. And, you know, so... So a lot of things that do get changed are getting changed in order to, like, you know, make things work together or cases where, like, you know, I have multiple versions of certain characters so it's just like, okay, take aspects of each. Or in one case, I'm like, okay, I'll actually just split these into two separate characters. We'll make them brothers. Have one of them keep the name, you know. I mentioned that, like, you know, originally we had, like, I had two versions of Benjamin Greats, and I'm like, mm, they're different enough that I want to keep them separate, so let's make them brothers. Keep one of them named Benjamin, make the other one, like, I'm thinking... Daniel Grayson. Which itself is still... One second, Cleo. Chat. Uh, what? Sure. Oh. Oh. No. I thought she was going to talk, be talking about the ghost, but now she's talking about, um. Culver. I'm fairly certain she was talking about Culver. Weed. Uh, yeah. What 
this thing, yeah. So, technically, Daniel Grayson was the name of a character I had in Chrono Hustle, actually, but he was a relatively minor character. I think only appeared in one story. Let me tell you that Daniel and Grayson could still exist. Could, that, that character was like character in the like 2300s, 2400s, whatever future era. I ha, ha, was using there, whereas current series Daniel you know, Grayson would be you know a present day one. So theoretically, the uh, future Daniel Grayson could be like a descendant of the modern day one. If that comes through. Because I do have plans, I mean, obviously, because I said I could be including some of the stuff from Chrono Hustle in my current series, so obviously there is going to be time travel. In fact, it's going to be introduced in the third story as the current plan. I'm currently writing the second story, though. You get to the third one, time travel can be fun. Well, let's see how long we can go before I end up, um, with time travel stuff that doesn't make sense. Because most time travel fiction reaches that point. Um, it's just a matter of how long it takes. Okay. Let's sell the junk and then go start checking out our other towns. 21 minutes into stream and we're, already, and we're done uh, our exploration of town. I don't think I missed anything because we got all the fossils. We got the money rock and the glowing spot. Talked to all of the villagers. As far as I know, we picked all the weeds, although that we don't have. Let me just quickly check out Lucy Cleo. Yeah, we talked to all our villagers. Weeds is a bit trickier because that I don't keep, like, because I don't know the exact. Excuse me. Numbers for how many weeds appear each day, and thus I don't keep account of that or anything. And yeah, that would be far too much work to go back and figure out. But yeah, let's go. So let's go check out our other towns. And so we're going to Pretorius first, I believe. I believe that's what I just. You know, that or Meltwork. No, I don't know. Either that or Cousteau. So those are the two that have Gracie. I put one of those in. I'm pretty sure it was Protoris that I put in the Wii. Hmm. While we're traveling, I should actually go see if I can find find the notes on my computer. Oh wait, I also should quickly do check that. Oh, and luckily we do indeed have, um, have, um, rover, so I don't have to worry about, like, drawing a face while I'm looking stuff up. Okay, um, Presumably this will be in my projects. Other writings, maybe? No. Well, well, wood 472. Uh, just 342. No. Wood 57. Ooh! It's a UES ship list, but that's just literally just the ship list. Ooh, this though. Here we go. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, I have to figure out which. Well, I still have to decide which of the four characters. I already know in. Well, first let's. Well, what's going on here? Uh, we are in Praetorus. Excellent. Um, 
firstly, let's check... Nothing on the message board. For the dump we got snappy print and a blossom shirt. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. And then... First, just out of curiosity, if we had turnips today, 84, okay. And I'd like to sell uh, these two pieces of junk for a grand total of 172 bells. Pleasure doing business with you, Nook. Pleasure doing business. I just noticed another thing I'd open up that has, like, you know, UES uh, Unity Command Crew. I actually even included my preferred actors for each of them if there were a TV show about it. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Yes, yes, yes. Gong's on. B1. Gotcha. I will be one with the car. Or something like that. Anything lost? Ooh, they do have something lost. Uh, stationary? We do need some stationary. Excellent. Stationary. Simple paper. Okay. Sometimes that's all you need. Cool paper, tile paper, simple paper. Nice and simple. Okay, I uh, will check if... Gulliver is in town, but I th think... We already saw him earlier this week here in Praetorius. I think. We saw him in a bunch of my towns this week, earlier this week. So I can't, don't remember for certain which ones we did and didn't, so we will go and confirm that he's not in town today, but... Ooh, glowing spot. Which works out for us as we found a glowing spot. Even if no Gulliver, still got a bit of uh, money from our search. And who can say no to a bit of money? Okay, um... Remember when Alfonso lived here? I don't know where he taking that spot. But Alfonso still lives up here. Because he moved out of this town and then to my main town of Tranor and then moved back. Oh, is he not home though? Oh, don't get to say hi to him today unless we randomly run into him. Okay, which side of the river? Can, wait, can Gracie even be on the side of the river in B1? No. No, she cannot. There's no spot for her. There's no room for her car over here. Okay. Honestly, I should have known that. I've bought turnips in that, on that, in that section before and know how tight it is. And here we have Gracie. Okay. Now, for anyone unaware, how this works is you wash your car by rapidly pressing the A button. And I do it by rubbing a pen over the A button, because it's... Oh, I get a pen? That's how I can get the speed for that. It is a bit loud, so I do turn off the mic while I'm doing it. So, um, yeah, if you do a good job, you get a Gracie exclusive piece of clothing, which is what we're after here. Let me actually bring up the clothing list. And um, up, if you do a so-so job, you just get a standard piece of clothing. And if you do a bad job, you get nothing. You get shame. Shame on your family. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off the mic now and wish me luck.
Well, that was only a so-so job. I don't know why that was... Maybe just because I haven't done it in a while, but that felt way... That did not feel good. I don't know if I zoomed. Yeah. So. But hey, we still have... More opportunities today. Because first of all, we can get two more from her here. Because get three per visit, but only one per character. So later on, we'll use, um, you know, two, two of those four characters to get another two. And then we also have... Um, so what did she give me, though? Peachy shirt. Oh, yeah, that one. We also do have her visiting Custodes as well. So, fingers crossed we get a bit luckier. Or just not even get luckier, do better there. I don't know what was going on with me here. We'll just quickly sell that, and then... Move on to the next one. Okay, so... Then Custodes next, so... And we're currently in... Pretorius, yeah. So let me just swap out memory cards, and we'll try again. Students. So how's everyone doing today? Hopefully you're having a good Friday. Um, and just yeah. Good day. Good start of the weekend and all that jazz. Um, just now I have a Discord notification, but it's just somebody going live. So, nothing too major. And now with our fruit smuggling. I mean, what? I'm not smuggling fruit today. Welcome to Custodes. Okay. Uh, first, yeah, let's check the message board, see if there's anything important on there. Nothing new. What are you 
744, okay, so... If we had turnips, we very well might be selling them here today. <laughs> if we hadn't already sold. If... Yeah. Uh, but we don't have turnips, so... Doesn't matter. Uh, let's go find out where Gracie is. And try to do a better job. Good day, good sir. Any goings on? E2. Okay, R2, E2, got it. And... Do you have anything lost while I'm here? No, okay. And E2 is... Okay, right there. So we'll go check along the shore for uh, Gulliver on our way there, and then, yeah, that sounds like a plan, Actually, yeah, this is one of the ones that has a bridge by the, along the beach. Ones that don't kind of annoy me, because it's like, you're checking for Gulliver, you have to kind of go out of your way then. Uh, E2, let's check down here first. Ah, and checking down here was the correct decision. Okay, so once again, we're going to be doing the pen trick. Hopefully doing it better. And I will, of course, be turning off the mic while I do it, just because otherwise it's kind of loud. And fingers crossed, we get, um, well, first of all, that we do a good job, and then we get either the jingle, or uh, the butterfly shirt, or the lavender robe. Okay, turn off the mic now, and wish me luck. And that, my friends, is how it's done. Yeah, I did a much better job there. But now it's down to the RNG. Survey says... Snow shirt. No shirt. Snow shirt. How dare you, Gracie? Grand total of two outfits that I need from you. You give me a snow shirt. Okay, that's fine. So. We still have four more chances today. Um, potentially more if any of my other towns randomly have a Gracie visit today that I'm unaware of, which is unlikely, but not impossible. We'll hit 60,000. Oh, 60,000 bells today. Okay, so next we're going to. Okay, so we're currently in Custodes. Next we're going to. Okay, always trying to remain town. We've already been to Purge Taurus. Meltor 4, we're not going to today. Winnipeg, maybe? Or no of them. I'm gonna peg or no of them next. So just give me a moment to swap out memory cards once again.
Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna go to Novum next. Mainly because I had, uh, prior to stream, I put the memory cards kind of in the order we would be visiting, and no one in Winnipeg didn't really matter which order, that, but I just happened to put them in this order, so I was like, yeah, might as well. Yeah, because Winnipeg and Novum, we had Katrina visits on Tuesday, so we need to find out who the next visitor is for both of them. The Peg had a, had or has a sale. We actually don't know if the sale has happened yet or not. ESS has read, but he is still... Uh, he came yesterday, but it'll still be there until 6 p.m. today. UBS is Sahara, so those we don't need to go to. And yeah. Also, I keep checking my phone because I have plans for after stream, assuming they don't get cancelled. But. I'm just waiting to see if, you know. If that happens, if they get cancelled. <laughs> or if I get a text being like, hey, what time are we meeting? Because I really expect one of the two things will happen. Well, or I'd, they'll get cancelled and he'll just forget to ca actually cancel them. That could be, that's the possibility as well. <laughs> okay. We do meet again. Busy little traveler, sure. check something. I just thought of something. Um, just quickly look something up online. There we go. Oh, that's interesting. Where are we? No. Um, first, yeah, let's just quickly check this. Um, okay. The dump. Ooh. Green tie dye. And a chevron shirt. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Looks cranny. I'd like to sell these two shirts. 175, okay. And then we'll go find out who the next visitor is gonna be. I mean, it was a Tuesday visit. Today's Friday, so in theory we could even have another visitor by today already. Hard to say. Um, and down and over. And he goes on. Nice, another Gracie visit. 
this is where we know them. On March 20th. Uh, so that's Sunday. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, look how much Gracie there is on that list. Uh, anything lost? Because getting the, those last two shorts from Gracie is one of our one of our big things we still have left. Obviously we have other stuff to do as well, but That's also such an RNG heavy thing, because first we need her to show up, which is, you know, RNG dependent. Then we need to do a good job, which is skill dependent. Then we need to get an outfit we actually need from her, which is RNG dependent. And we only get three outfits per, up to three per visit. Although, of course, with my increasing town count. We're getting more and more visits from her more and more frequently, which is awesome. Exactly what we need. Okay. Then, do I... I guess... Otherwise, I, th I think I'm good then. Currently in Novum, so I think we're going to Winnipeg next. So just give me a moment to swap out the memory cards again. Need to, I think I've said, mentioned this before though, in fear it wouldn't work out, but figuring out a way to move the Wii over closer so I could like swap out memory cards a might bit easier since we're doing that so much with Animal Crossing now. But, I can just put it down next to me so I don't have to keep getting up to change memory cards. Or maybe putting it on my da mm, no. Putting it on my desk would be would be difficult. But honestly even just putting it down on the floor somewhere under my desk or something would oh no because also taking into account cable because I'm just I was thinking of like you know where I would plug it in but no I also have to have it connected to the TV but then it's the same cables that need to be connected to other systems as well and Yeah, might be a bit of an issue. Okay, now Winnipeg, if I recall correctly, is where we sold our turnips last week, and we haven't actually been there since. Um, which means Nooks will probably be closed for remodeling. Which, unless we need to actually go in with a character from the actual town for that to happen. I'm not sure. I don't think so, though. But it's been a while since we, you know, upgraded my stores in pr 
Necro Taurus and Meltor 4. So. And we'll find out shortly, I guess. Nice Lena would make create a fourth character in this town. Okay. Nothing new on there. And Nooks. Oh. Okay, I guess we just completely missed the day when you know when it was closed for upgrade. Is 56. It's been a while since I've seen uh, this because right now, like, all my other towns have like my Trandor Tours and Melter before all have Nooking Tins have for like ages, and all the other towns still have uh, Nook's Cranny. So here we have uh, Nook and Go. And I'm curious if next time we come here, it'll already be upgraded to Nook. Nook way, because we did spend a good chunk of, or not spend, actually made a good chunk of money on selling turnips here, but it doesn't actually matter which way the money goes, um, as it's just, it just a certain amount of money either spent or made at Nook's causes the upgrades, which is weird when you think about it, but I guess it means that if you, you're making the money at Nooks, then whatever you're selling to him, he's selling at a profit. In fact, in theory of me, he's selling it for double what he paid you. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's check out Gulliver in town. We very well might, because this one we hadn't been to yet this week. So, this one we haven't seen Gulliver in yet, but still no Gulliver today. No worries. But now let's go find out who the next visitor is going to be and when. Any goings on? March 23rd. Okay. So that's also Gracie. This is we're in Winnipeg right now. Gracie on the twenty third. Uh, today is Friday and the eighteenth. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Excellent. Awesome, awesome. And anything lost? Oh, there's something lost. I'm almost wondering if I should start writing the dates instead of just the day of the week. Because it is start, as I'm getting more and more towns, it is starting to be like, okay, was is that something that's coming up this next Tuesday or was that something that happened this last Tuesday and such? Like, when it was just like, you know, two or three towns, four even, like, you know, it wasn't so bad. Now we're up to like nine and it's like, Okay. What's when and where and how and why? I'd like to sell these items three. I'd like to sell. Hey, pass it to 60,000. Told you it was gonna happen today. Okay, uh, so then we just need to go to the peg yet, I think, and we're currently in Winnipeg. Okay, just give me a moment to swap out memory cards again. It's 
funny because the peg is a nickname for a Winnipeg. <laughs> We shall go. Okay. Yep. Leave it again. Don't worry. I'll be back. Back again. Back someday. Here to say something, something. Something, something, something. I don't know where he's going with that. I had a plan, except I didn't really, so. I was hoping I'd find a plan that would probably be more accurate, and I never did. But that's okay, that's just the way it goes sometimes. Gotta just accept things and move on. Okay, I think this is the final of my towns I need to visit with Rick. Although, and two of them, ones we visited today already, Praetorus and uh, Custodes. We'll have to go and play with some of the actual characters from those towns yet. Okay. Once again, are we gonna go with the fruit smuggling or with the fact that he's, you know, works for the mob? Can't tell me why. Uh huh. He, he works for the mob, like, he's hitman for the mob. We all know it's true, right? <laughs> First, let's check, um... Yeah, nothing new on here. Okay. Let's check... Dumpable check shirt and a sunny parasol. Nook's cranny. So, just out of curiosity, if we had turnips. 26. I mean, one of my towns had like 700 something as a turnip price today. So, if we had turnips this week and, ha and still have them by today, we w would be selling them today. But, no, don't have any this week, so it does, didn't matter. Okay. Down this way to yes, keep going down this way. So that will check for, for Gulliver and then check for uh, if we can find out the next visitor or not. Because if the sale hasn't happened yet, or even if it happened today, we won't be able to find out otherwise, though we can. from going to the dock that time. I started going there, but then I stopped myself. So yeah, that dock, I just keep thinking, oh, there's the bridge. Nope. It's no bridge, that's a dock. Okay. Here we are along the beach once again. And no Gulliver. No Gulliver. No worries. Let's see what we've got for visitors coming up. And Copper says... Okay, no, so the sale either hasn't happened yet or happened today. 
so I'll check again, I guess, next time. Probably tomorrow. Uh, but anything lost? Nothing lost. Okay. So, we've checked. Yeah, we checked Tran- Oh, it's Tran- by Maytown. So we, like, check that one by default. Check for Taurus. Uh, didn't need to check Meltwork 4, because we already know Gracie's coming next Tuesday. Checked Winnipeg. Checked Custodes. Checked Novum, currently in the peg. Don't need to check ESS because Red is still there. Don't need to check UES because Sahara's there. Okay, so let me just switch back to Trantor so we can go back to our main town. be the last uh, memory card swap for a little bit. Obviously, later on we're going to have to pull it, do a few things with our characters in both Praetorius and um, Custodes. But we have some other stuff to do first, and also after that we'll also be creating another town, but yeah. But we have our, like I said, other stuff to do first. So let's go and uh, do that and see how things go. Started both like what? Six minutes late today, that's actually not too bad. The advantage of having a shorter work shift, I gotta leave early today because there was nothing to do. I like it. Well, scheduled for bulk, got my bulk stuff done. Even by like stretching it out, I got it done by. Or 4 a.m. I think I was done in bulk around 6, maybe 6.30. Then went to produce where there was very little to do because we had very little stock in. No idea if we were getting stock today or not. So, gotta go home at 8. Trantor and Snake moved out. He was talking about it, so it's not surprising that he went and did it. Okay, let's go confirm my numbers are accurate, which they should be. And get lucky on the clothing today, but uh. Sorry. Still 581 for furniture. Will be until Monday's when it'll be going up. Monday will be going up to 582 as long as we don't miss stream for whatever reason. Yeah, 581. Wallpaper 66. Carpet is also 66. Those two won't be going up until Christmas Eve, December 24th. So that's still a ways away. Clothing should still be 244. That could conceivably be going up at any point. Like, won't be going up today yet, but it could like. I could get those clothing with other characters and then be able to grab them with Rick tomorrow. So it could, in theory, go up tomorrow. But it's down to RNG. Item 63 will be until July 4th. 
all 64 stationary. All 1.7 gyroids, all 25 fossils, and music still at, what are we at, 39? Yeah, 39. That should be only up to 40 tomorrow. Excellent. Actually, do I want to quickly realize I should check to confirm because I have been trying to keep like one okay good one of each you know Gracie outfit down here I was like wait I should double check to make sure I have the snow outfit for doing it but I do see it um, it's one of the ones along the wall um, basically four from the top We need to get all those stored in another character's house, especially now that we have so many characters. Oh, so many. It's so what? Um, Trantor, Protoros, and Maltor, four each have four characters, so that's 12. Uh, three in Winnipeg brings us up to 15. And then it's 15 across four towns, and we have an initial five towns with one character each. So that's so 20 characters right now across nine towns. That's uh, pretty impressive. Eventually, we'll have a. Uh, What is it? Across 18 towns we'll have, let's see, 18 times 2 is 36, 36 times 2 is 72. 72 characters across 18 towns eventually. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's a ridiculous number. But for now, let's go do a round of balloon fight. Because that's another ridiculous thing we need to accomplish. Also, actually, before we start, just confirm. Oh yeah, game audio is out of sync there. Definitely, good. Glad I did that. That was a really nice phase one. Phase two could be smoother, but still perfectly fine. Phase three pretty much always goes smoothly. That like the the, the way the um those three like T-shaped things, you know, are angled such that you start, uh, you know, you just kind of go up in that diagonal pattern. Just makes that one, you know, phase three go so smoothly, generally. Point that. Kind of sad that that's not one of the repeating ones, because basically, phase one, two, and three just happen at once, and then four through twelve, are the ones that keep repeating endlessly. So, like, 13 is 4, 14 is the same as um, 5, and so on. Like, they have, you know, things get faster and more difficult, but it's, you know, the layouts stay the same. Excellent, excellent. Alright, 
Don't don't get all tense yet. You're on well, second bonus round. You're not very far in. No, no tense. I mean, preferably no tensing up at all, because that's just not, you know, that's not good to tense up. <laughs> but, especially don't tense up this early. Alright, just see phase seven. <laughs> I didn't have, like, you know, one of the smooth Phase 7s where... Phase 7, I could theoretically get all but one of them taken out in the initial ascent before any of, before they even get into the air. Um, which we didn't have there, but it still went pretty smoothly. Yeah, when, when Phase 7 there loops in later phases, I guess, um, that's one that... Uh, can't do that in the later ones because you don't have enough time, but on that first time you get that layout with seven, you know, you just get it golden like that. on the other way there, but that's fine. We've got this under control. We do have this under control, right? Oh, we definitely have this under control at the moment. Perfect. Another perfect. things out and about. Okay. Last guy's going to the come fish food there. Awesome. Phase 12. So this is the last original layout. Although there are other believe that one of the other layouts is similar to it, but at least one of the other ones, but now we're into the, like looping layouts. Well, obviously, bonus rounds themselves are all identical. The only difference with bonus rounds is what order the pipes come. What what order the balloons come out of the pipes? Yeah, if that wasn't randomized. I could get perf. I would get perfect every time instead of just nearly every time. Gotcha. Phase 
15. Lost a balloon, but it's fine. We got a bonus round, so we got our balloon back. Yeah, if you have to lose a balloon, you know, if you want to do it on, on a phase, it's a multiple of three, because right after those, there's always a bonus round. So after, you know, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty, and so on. And so forth. No, oh, 256,000. Exactly. Obviously not now more, but... Gotcha. 18. Obviously, even, you know, we're still not going to try to, we're still going to try not to lose a balloon even on a stage like this, because, you know, lose both balloons as a death, and, you know, don't want to take unnecessary risks when you're doing something like this where it's all about the long game. Lasting uh, as long as you can. Okay. Damn it! Ah, uh, didn't realize I was in the line of. Oh crap! Gravity crap! Uh, didn't realize I was in the line of the lightning. Like, because obviously I knew like it was possible that I could go like you know up and right. I just didn't realize going up and right would hit me. Oh crap! Hitting that on this kind of stage. This kind of stage is super easy as long as you get to the top. Yeah, we, and we did manage to get that. Well, 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 well. 
oh, well, we already did die. I was like, okay, we're, we're safe again, but no, we did already die, so this already isn't a successful run. That's fine. You know, we'll get there eventually. One day. In the far, far future. Hesitated and missed eight, missed two balloons. I could have got that perfect if I hadn't, if I had been, you know, thinking a bit faster. But it is what it is. Ah, we're not fine. What am I doing? Phase <laughs> 24. Excellent. Back to perfect. Oh, boys around, I mean. Phase 25. Oof, oof, oof. Gotcha. Twenty six. to go by. There we go. 27. Flight is going to screw me over there. Had it gone down left instead of down right. Which, you know. That's kind of done. Comes out to me being impatient because like could have just moved out of there and then come back after I knew where the lightning was going. But you know, it is. I really should turn it around there. This is not gonna be. Oh, I think I did this like a perfect. I did still like a perfect. Nice. The second last balloon I was unsure of. But I was I thought I heard the sound effect, but I wasn't 100% sure, so... Yeah, 28. No, 
No, crap. This is how I seem to get back into the air that quickly. Clarity. Gotcha. Back to full balloonage. Much easier perfect, I think, yes. At least in the, in the last one, that is. Okay. Stuff thirty two. Ah, I like when me and the fish get simultaneous kills like that. Thirty three. Oof, 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 oof. <laughs> I was about to call it how this will be an easy one. <laughs> okay. We got into the 30s. Sometimes that's all you can do. Well, you can't even do that, so. Uh, I think that's where we're done with Rick here. Um, so then we're going to switch to which town? Um, Praetorius. I think we'll do next. Give me a moment to swap out memory cards, and then we're gonna head over to Praetorus for a little bit. Butterfly shirt or the lavender robe from Gracie. Yeah, we failed from this Gracie. We failed to get anything good. Um, other Gracie with Rick, we've yeah with Rick we failed to get anything good from this Gracie, but we did get something from uh, the other Gracie. But it was something we already had. Gracie was over oh, right there. So, we're going to try again. So, everyone wish me luck. And where's my pen? So, yeah, so it's a game where you 
for anyone unaware, you wash the car by pressing the A button as quickly as you can. I do a trick where I rub a pen over the A button, and yeah, this works a lot. I mean, it works. Pressing the A button with my fingers, that does not work to get it fast enough. The pen trick works, so that's what we do. So, uh, I'm gonna turn off the mic while you do that, because it's a bit noisy, so I'm turning off the mic now, and everyone wish me luck. Okay, did a good job. That's the first step. Now it's time to the RNG. And survey says orange pinstripe. Nope. It's a fine outfit, but no, we're after. Okay. Okay, oh, we have one more chance with this Gracie. So let's go switch to James and try again. And we'll go check out the other Gracie we have today. And yeah. So the problem with the stuff that comes down to RNG as well it comes down to RNG and just gotta keep trying until you luck out. Whether that's, you know, one time or 20 times or whatever it ends up being. Uh, yes. James. I'll just show you something else we need to do with Jonathan. I think we actually still have something, a gyroid, in Rick's gyroid to be able to Jonathan. Probably with that. We'll do that next time. It's not a super big deal. Okay. Got a lot of mail. Tom Nook with a tulip table. HRA talking about. Oh, Regal set. Tom Nook with a sale on March 15th. Okay. Lee's moved, red on March 10th, Kabuki moved, red on February 17th, Queenie moved, Sandy moved, Murphy moved. Comes Murphy again. Okay, well let's go and see what we can manage. Same deal as last time. Going to use the pen trick and uh, uh actually also after this Gracie will leave. So then we can also find out who the next visitor is gonna be right away. Okay, turn off the mic now, wish me luck. Success. So, so far today, we've only actually we've only messed up once out of four times, which isn't too shabby. But giraffe print. Actually, wait. What happens if we talk to her while wearing a giraffe print? If we had talked, I guess if we were wearing this next time we talked to her, like next time she was in town, and she's gone, then that might have different dialogue, but, um, yeah, let's go find out who the next visitor is going to be now that she's gone. So, didn't luck out this time, but 
So I'll have two more chances today in my in another town. Uh, specifically, Custodes. So all is not lost, but let's first find out any goings on. Nothing on port. So we got a sale coming up. Okay, that's fine. Because um, we're actually playing, I mean, we could force a mail delivery to, because then we get a letter saying when the sale, I don't care enough though, we're not going to bother. We know there's a sale coming up at some point. Okay, so now we need to go to Custodes to check. Try twice more there. Alfonso! And then. Hey, okay, tomorrow we're not gonna have too many towns we need to visit. Obviously, Trantor's our main town, so stuff there. Pretorius we won't need to visit because the sale won't be as early as tomorrow. And even if it was, actually we, would, we wouldn't build. Yeah, so. Um, we won't need to go to Miltark 4 tomorrow or Winnipeg. Uh, probably not Custodes. Not Novum. Peg. ESS and UES I guess we'll visit tomorrow. But for now, we're visiting where? Custodes. Give me a moment. Or, well, Playing as a character in Custodes. Two characters. I only have one character in Custodes, don't I? Well, let's head over to Custodes. Give me a moment. opportunity to create another character in Custodes because might as well. Yes. I'll start with Kira. find it. Exactly where. What is all this junk here? I mean, I'll sell probably most of it. But let's go and. Oh, that's the dock. Where are we going? We're going. Up and around. again. Get a butterfly shirt or a lavender robe. So, wish me luck. And then I guess we'll create another character in this town so we can go and... Okay, wish me luck. I'm trying with Mike right now.
Started failing at the end there, but did a good enough job prior to that that it still worked out. I'll put my pen in here for now because so we need to create another character for this town. Uh, and survey says Ladybug shirt. No, I actually don't mind this for Kira. See, this is I'm trying to think. Create another character for this town. What was what was the plan for character distribution? Um, so make my Islander. Okay, this is. Custodes, which has the island called the Lair. Oh, I think this town is going to have, then, well, because the Lair is going to have Curtis and Elizabeth. I think I was also going to have Lyle in this town. Actually, that makes sense, because, yeah. with like the um, way I'm doing things with my four Custodes Novum based towns. Oh. Was gonna be um word what are words? Um Obviously, it's four characters for how I was going to be doing, like, you know, since most of them are couples, keeping the couples together, but Kira and Lyle would be the exception, because Lyle is single, and Kira actually isn't, but her boyfriend, at least, well, very start of the series, her and Drake are a couple, and they break up right in their very first scene together. But then, Kira's going to end up dating somebody who's not a main character. So... We're not going to have that as a character in here. Uh, I'd like to sell. Especially since it's actually going to be a running joke that I'm going to go as long as I can without actually giving said character's name <laughs> in the story. In the series. We'll see. we'll see how long I can manage that. I know the character's name. Well, the first name I know. I don't actually know his last name. But... Okay, so well, I think we'll create Lyle. Do the chores and then go and get another thing from from uh yes Gracie I'm new this is a nice grand character where you don't have to you know in a town that a town that already exists so we don't have to worry about um worry about um. Stuff. This is town stuff. Creating a town. <laughs> uh, this is Lyle. Oh, yeah. Lyle would be like all on board. Is it in Kumal? 
You know it. Maybe out front. Ah, crap. I don't know what I answered there. Well, I'll go with whatever you answered there. Didn't mean to press B there. So pressing B to like skip through the dialogue mostly faster, but then occasionally that ends up happening. Oh well. Because I'm trying to give the answers to these questions in character with the characters I create, since they're all characters from my writing and such. But, you know, I mean, sometimes it's not perfect, because it's like, you know, it gives you two options, and it's just like, I'm like, sometimes like, neither of these perfectly fits the character, but this one is, you know, closer. Feels weird moving with a character not being like, oh, okay, is this a train station I have? Obviously, it's a train station I have because this is a town I already created. Okay. There's a question where I'm like, eh, I don't know. I don't, I don't like either of those options too much. Like, I, I'd like to be able to just laugh along with him, but... Okay, where... Is he gonna live? Um, I think we're gonna do the, this one right here, top corner. If Kira and the other in the top left, we'll have Lyle in the top right. Liz or Elizabeth Adams, I don't think we go the short or long form. But yeah, in the bottom right. Because have Liz and Lyle as a neighbor since they're siblings. And I'll have Curtis in the bottom left. Okay. Let's see, so Lyle's neighbor is on the one. this again today yet because of the fact that we're, we're creating another town yet today. But that is, you know, it's what it is. We will uh, get that done one step at a time. And before you know it, We'll be good to go. Okay. So, okay. so then, all right, we don't have a map yet. Uh, this way. Okay, so you also all have the same dialogue. So I was wondering, because like when I create the towns or whatever, you know, I, I go check the island before coming here. And I'm like, you know, here I came straight, pretty much straight here. Just had to check the map. Um, got some trees and flowers. Thank you. 
Not one second. Just knock at the door. Wasn't even mail for me. <laughs> it was mail for my roommate. Although my evening plans have been cancelled. Uh, it's gonna be working on the podcast. My buddy there. But he had a. He's had a ridiculous week of work, so he's like, no, doesn't. isn't up to it. So it's, you know, all good for me. I mean, the bot is rushed with a stream today as well. Well, so if we'll see how, which is good because you know we're almost two hours in and we're still have a chunk to do with Animal Crossing yet, and then we're going to be starting on Earthbound Beginnings. Uh, actually, you know, I'm going to actually take a quick another quick break. I just realized I should use the washroom. Um, that's how I should put on the break screen. It'll just be a few minutes. It won't be a long, I mean, not probably even, probably like a minute or two, but. Where is my break screen thing? There we go.
Hello, uh, Animal Crossing Dan, and also, yeah, I'm back. Just had a, like I said, just a quick break, I just need to quickly use the washroom. But how is everyone, how's it going, Animal Crossing Dan? How are you doing on well, this fine, uh, Friday, if indeed it is still Friday for you? Okay, what am I doing? And yeah, uh, eighty bells. Yeah. Uh, and that's where we yeah have a while ago meet everyone in town. Let me just quickly stop, check the map to see the best route we should take. Um, okay, what I'm thinking is we want to go down here, let's talk to Sydney there, Monique Cowfrog, Bob, go around, Bill, uh, talk to the mayor at the Wishing Well, double check the police station at the map, and then come up and talk to these last three. I think that's a good way of doing it. Here, so we have someone over here, Sydney. Yep. Okay. Be calm. Got it. And over here to talk to, I think it was two people. Yeah, Camel Frog and Monique. I want to say. Okay. Home in bed. It's 5.05 p.m. And here we have Bob. So that's everyone in this quadrant. And we'll go down below the cliff. And then there is one more person on this side of the river, which was where... Here's where Gracie is, but she's not around until I guess we're done the chores. Which is why we're doing the chores with this new character. Didn't we have somebody here? Here. Bill. Yep, first time. Best friends. Understood. Understood. Okay. Then we have... Wishing well up here. Talk to Tartimer. Who does Lyle respect the most? And mom, grandma, grandpa. I feel like he goes with his dad. <laughs> Map that we didn't miss anyone. So, yes, yeah, so we got Bob, we got Sydney, Wendy Camel Frog, and Bill, and we just have up here Sally, Cody, and Dottie. So, here is Sally. said welcome to the chat room like a reset let me just do a test here okay probably fine 
think Twitch was doing some kind of changes to something. Okay. Blur some furniture. Excellent. Dottie, ooh, excellent. Very excellent. Don't worry, it's a very, very short, quick uh, delivery. Delivery for you. Delivery from Nook. Move after after you buy a house. Oh, that's how you're supposed to do it. pretty well at this point. We've certainly created enough tech characters at this point. Because this is what the 21st character? That, not 21st character. 21st character I've created amongst my current towns. I've created other characters in the past. Like, I mean, my old Trantor, which got lost. Who was that? Who was I supposed to be mailing this to? Did anyone see? <laughs> uh, let me just check the VOD. This way it's gonna- I want- I do this on stream. Although if I wasn't doing this on stream, I probably wouldn't have missed it, but... <laughs> well, that being said, I haven't missed any of these to date, so... Let's see here. Found the, found the spot where it's talking, so I just need to go through and wait for him to actually say yes. Camel frog. Okay. There we go. That's the advantage of doing stuff on stream. You have a VOD to look back at. Ooh, I accidentally clicked on something. There we go. In case you aren't paying attention. Um... Sale time. Where is it? Post office right over this way. And uh, let's go. Mail a letter. No, just the one. Yeah, I had to look at the VOD to confirm the recipient since you wouldn't repeat it for me. Oh, this is where we help out a villager. Helping out a friend in need is helping out a friend indeed. Hey, Dottie, need any help? Give me a job. Uh, no. And we'll check Sally. Need a favor. Okay. 
Yeah, Sydney. Crap session. Leave it to me. Okay, Sydney is... So literally the next acre over, but because on the, she's on the other side of the river, we need to go a bit a longer way around to cross the bridge. Wait, crossing the bridge? An animal crossing? What has this come to? Uh, delivery for you. Got a videotape. I, I, I am not gonna ask what's on the videotape. Head back. Actually, what outfit did I get there? Pop bloom shirt. Ooh, I like that for Lyle. Okay. No. <laughs> I love that reaction. Yes. Because these days it's always need a casual workplace. Yeah. Go <laughs> cool with your hip hipness. Okay. Yes. Um Deliver a nice carpet. Sydney. Okay, I guess we're delivering another thing to Sydney. so quickly. Okay. Um, but, I mean, that's what happens, you know. You plant flowers, you're on over flowers, flowers disappear. Just like in real life. Vanish into thin air. Okay, Sydney, you got your carpet. Yes, yes. Thank you kindly. Okay. section as well. I can't we have like stuff, I mean we had the first one was for Dottie. We got spoiled with our first piece of work being for uh, Dottie and then it's just like everyone else, nope, way across town. I keep ending up going too low or too high for, compared to the bridge and having to readjust. Okay, camo frog right here. Yes. Delivery. I'm not sure what has Monique so pissed, but... Mmm, knuckling. Yes, yes I did. Pretty darn funny. Uh, so what's it say? Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Good to know, good to know. Hey, Monique. Oh. Wonder if Camel Frog did something to piss her off. Or if she's pissed off for other reasons. Not sure, but I think do we just have the message board thing add left to right? Is that the only thing we have left? Um, yes, yep, yeah, bulletin board. I always call it the message board, but it's a bulletin board. It has messages on it, you know. board. Um. I really wish there was like copy and paste functionality. That's good. If there's copy paste functionality, I would like do just as many lines of that as I could, but I, I don't feel like doing that many. Was it the one I did? Shop at Nook's Cranny. Oh yeah. That's what I did with Kira. Okay. Another flower bites the dust. Okay. Excellent. And then we can go and uh, do a thing and get another Gracie outfit. Bring up the clothing list again. Butterfly shirt or lavender robe? So far we've made five attempts today. I succeeded at washing her do a good job on four of them. But didn't get anything new. Uh, let's go down this way. I think it'll be fastest. So our last chance for today, but we have you know more chances coming up. Like uh, we have next chance on Sunday, I think. Or do we have it once Saturday? I'll check it after we've done this. But here we go. So, once again, could be washing our car. For anyone unaware, it's a mini game where you press the A button as quickly as you can. I do a trick where I rub a pen over it to just get, you know, as much speed as I can. So, yeah, I do turn off the mic while I do it just to make sh sure, you know, it's not too noisy. And I'm turning it off now, so wish me luck. Oh, I did a good job. I feel like this pen is gonna break on me eventually. The way I keep do using it for this. And I'll have to decide on a different pen to use. Which is unfortunate, that pen is really nice. For this. Uh, work uniform survey says Caterpillar T. No, that's not what we need. Do I like the Caterpillar T4 Lyle, though? I, I, do I, I do like it. I'm not sure it's the right 
for a lot. I think we're gonna go back to the Paul Bloom shirt. This th this actually like screams Lyle to me. Okay. Uh, let's go find out then who the next visitor is going to be. Since that's where are we? That was our third. I think so. Any goings on? Ooh, we have a sale coming up here as well. So this is... Cousteau's. Nothing to report. To report means a sale coming up. We don't know when it is, though. Copper. Because copper doesn't know about that, so... So our next Gracie visit is on Sunday in Novum. So fingers crossed that we luck out on that. Oh, this is curious. Then I guess we are ready to create ourselves another town. Now we're definitely going a bit longer with the Animal Crossing today, but that is the way it goes. So, um, let me go and put a new fresh memory card into the system. Be polite. <laughs> she'll go with, isn't it cool? And then she'll correct. So we are gonna. This is a bit confusing because my other town is U E S, which has a island called Unity. This is gonna be Unity with an island called U E S because, you know, can we come up with so many names? 
that's right. Um, th this, she would be like, yeah, what's it to you? Uh, See though if we get uh, if we get a town but yeah so got the names now figure it out at least so that's the important thing. Station would orange group with tan body. Huh. Okay, so we're resetting. Just give me a moment to reset and we'll try again. through this a bit faster this time though because now we know character and town name and answers we're given we're giving Like, we know answers we're giving, and then come to the first question, uh, what do I answer here normally? That's the one that I always literally answer the exact same thing. So, if we get an orange roof again, a wood orange roof, we need a brown body. Alternatively, blue or purple roof will be good as well for the wood. Uh, if we get metal, purple roof. If we get brick, we need either green or blue roof with gray bricks, or we need a brown roof. Actually, you know, also we said just a little bit, I'm gonna go with, oh yeah. I think that's actually a better answer for her. Okay, so this is wood, and this is, is this a blue roof or a purple roof? I think it's purple. Let me just, either way, it's one we do need, I'm just gonna, Let's see here. 
make sure I mark it down correctly. I'm pretty sure it's purple, but sometimes it's... Um... Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely purple. Luckily, in addition to the roof being a different color, the actual body, like this fence here, or in the, the body here, are also different color. Um, and yeah, so this is definitely the purple roof. Awesome. Uh, wood, purple roof. Unity. So that is number four. So then where's my furniture list? Station model four is on Unity Day. Which we'll have to... Mark, we'll have to figure out when that is, but... I still need two more wood train stations, one more metal, and one, two, three more. Uh, stone, brick, whatever. Okay. As per normal. First character would take the top corner, generally, because it doesn't really matter. Uh, I like it. Here is good. I do generally, like, try to... Where I have characters live in comparison to each other, I try to, like, kind of plan out, but... It's just whoever I create first that gets the top corner, generally, and then I'm like, okay. Where I don't want everyone else in relation to them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I know. Another explanation. No thanks, I do not need to hear that again. These are closing costs. Here's my thousand bells. Okay. Okay. A1. Okay. Top corner. Top left corner. Town. But first let's find out when uh, the town day is. What day in July? Okay, it's the 10th, which is a Sunday. Sunday is good. Um, so, the 10th. Unity Day. July. Train station model. Which one was it again? Um, four. Four, which we get 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Awesome. So on the various town days section, we can take off number four. It's two to three, ten to twelve, and fifteen. We still need not too shabby, not too shabby at all. 
Okay, next of all, let's go check what we have for villagers and if any other are the ones that we still need in Trantor. Although I know we have Liz in one of my towns that I haven't even been working on getting her to Trantor yet. Ooh, this is an interesting one with the way the cliff goes. That's very interesting. Okay, uh, Cleo, Chuck, Chick. Probably to have C names here. Okay, Prince and Ed break it up. And Shepherd, though. Okay, so no one we need for Trantor. We have four C names and then Prince and Ed. Check the Islander next. So, where's my Islander list? I'll have to go to the Island for that. But yeah, this this cliff going up and down is interesting. And of course, as always, I'm curious if we can get a house like in the little bit, but. Between the river and the cliff edge here. Let's go take a look at that. We can! I love when you can get a house in a place like this. That is just awesome. That is very awesome. liking uh, this town layout. Also, let's go check over here. Should we go look down there if we can get a house in there? There's our glowing spot for today. Okay, we can get a house here. Ah, uh, but not up here. Okay. Overall, not too shabby, though. I like it. I like this town. Yeah, the lake is over there. Bridge there and there. I'm not even sure where I will put another bridge. Like... Here, I guess? Like otherwise, because like you know, I don't think you put a bridge in the lake acre, and then you know, here will be right next to this bridge. Here or here will be right next to this bridge. Like really, this acre will be the best spot for a bridge. But even then, it's like it's not. It's like it's much of a thing. Okay, let's go. Yes, cross. And to be extra confusing, since we have the town of UES that has the island of Unity, here we have the town of Unity that has the island of UES. Just to be extra confusing. Then my next town that I create, I don't even know what... Because we still have a few more characters from like this set of characters. I'm not sure what I'll even call the other town. Let's just call it generic and just call it Starship. <laughs> okay. Okay, maybe. Now, are we gonna get an Islander we need? Or an Islander we already have? That is the question. Oh right, Captain hits on the women. I forgot about that.
Uh, you are... Alina. Nice. Somebody new. Awesome. We've been getting really lucky. So this is U-E-S Island off of Unity. Uh, and let's just confirm. Let's see here. I mean, we know it's zero out of whatever that we've given her, but let's just confirm that it is eight piece of furniture, which everyone other than um, Flossy has been eight. But um, let's just confirm that. So, Alina. Exotic wardrobe, exotic bed, turntable, exotic screen, birdcage, glass top table, blue vase, exotic chair. Yeah. How is it that everyone is out of eight other than like the one that has been out of nine? weird. Also, I'm glad that we are g continuing to get uh, good luck with this, obviously. Yeah, at the moment we have no duplicate islanders amongst our ten towns. I do want to check actually what she has as her starting furniture as well. Um. Okay. Now we head back. Just texting me about a thing. So I just had to respond. I'm not sure why I was texting me about that instead of just, you know, talking about whenever he gets home. see this little area on this side of the river. Oh, interestingly, so no houses over here. Let's see if that'll be a neat place for some houses. But, you know, that's just the way it goes sometimes. I like that little tree in this little, uh, little section here. I definitely like the layout of this town, it's interesting. Okay. Oh. Well, 
also. Go back to, I guess, just the standard percentage. Honestly, Jane would probably prefer this uniform to the shirt she was wearing there initially. <laughs> Okay. Daisy shirt. Yeah. Well, let's go plant these trees in the corner. Out of the way. And the flowers. Here, where they actually probably will stay, because over here we're not going to be running over them very much. Okay. Yes. bridge here, so I can go look at the map. Here we go. Okay. So, what we want is, I mean, obviously, yeah. Sherry, then Prince and Ed, then go over here, down here, talk to the mayor. We can double check the map here. Go over here to where Chevra is hiding out. Then around and on our way back up, talk to Cleo and Chuck. Okay, so Sherry, Prince Ed, and then the station to double check. Okay, that's easy enough. Good day, good night, whatever. Yeah. And down here ish. Ed. And Prince. These two non C names living next to each other here. It's interesting that the two that yeah, four characters have C names, and the two that don't live in the same acre. Okay, then down here. Here we double check the map. Yeah, so we talk to them. So we're gonna talk to the mayor, then go across Chevra, and then down here up and up and okay. See what this area looks like down here. Okay, so no houses can go into those two acres. We can have a house over here, and then obviously over here because this is where Chevro lives. Okay. We are looking on the other side. Now we've seen it on this side. more villagers to talk to on our way up. Um, which is 
here is Cleo. At home in bed? Well, not yet. And Chuck. I think that was everyone. Okay. Yes, it was. Excellent. way I think is gonna be down because Chevra is kind of like you know either either direction cars you know pretty far out of your way and then double back because of you know where she lives compared to the cliff and the river kind of you know but yeah this is decently Decently speedy. And I think it's after this, yeah, after this one where, where we get the map. And it'll be a lot easier to, you know, quickly look at it when making deliveries. Yeah. Uh -huh. Pop belly stove. Good stuff, good stuff. Excellent. Definitely makes it a lot easier. Press the X button. Yes, I know how to look at a map, Tom Nook. Just like in real life, you press the X button to look at the map. Oh, Ed. <laughs> Don't make the same mistake you did last time, Eric. Uh, last, last character we created, we forgot to ch check who we are Pay attention to who we are supposed to send the letter to. And then I had to go back and look at the VOD to be like, um... Uh... You know. She is just sh all caps. That's how you advise someone of a special sale. All caps, just like shouted at them. Interesting that the dump, normally the, I find that the dump and the uh, shop are like next to each other. Here we have like, nooks over here and the dump way over on the other side. Here's the dump. But we want the post office at the moment. Mail a letter. Excellent. Not just the one. Ah. 
Okay, we'll check the... We'll check, uh... Chuck first and then Cleo. Since they're just... Down here. Hey, Chuck, got any work for me? Give me a job. No. Also, I just realized... One of the characters I plan to have in this town... Human characters is also named Chuck. <laughs> Granted, whether this Chuck will still be here by then or not, who knows. Where's Cleo? Need a favor? Prince, yes. Okay. Consider it done. I won't even ask what's on the VHS tape. Okay. And with that done, back to Nux to do some more work for him. Yes. Yeah, got some stuff. Um, nice carpet. Cleo. Okay. It's Cleo the one that I was just doing the job for? Yes. So just down two. Right down here. Ooh, it's six o'clock already. <laughs> I've been going for three hours just with Animal Crossing. have one last thing to do, which is going to be writing a message on the message board. Right, Nook? Right. Yes. Okay.
Well, I think we're getting the point across here. Just need to make sure we have enough exclamation marks. Because otherwise, well, if we don't have enough, then we don't have enough. To the final line, or do we have one more? Okay. <laughs> I like it. Let's go. Yes, buzz generating ad. Okay, awesome. Don't worry, don't worry, I'll figure stuff out. Probably. Possibly. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, um, then let's go and find out who the next, who, well, I guess the first visitor for this town will be. He visits. Um, on Sunday. So we have two Gracie visits on Sunday. Awesome. Otherwise, then I. I think we are done here. Oh, wait, actually. Let's add both. Oh, so we didn't add U E S yet. Just out of curiosity, what 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 are what is defining terms for today? Let's go check in this town. Nothing fancy. Now let us go save and quit. And we're finally done with the Animal Crossing portion of the stream. Like three hours in. And now... Finally gonna be starting on... Earthbound Beginnings. Um. Which, as soon as, you know, we have to wait for us to finish saving. Takes a bit of time, because it's, you know, newly created town, and all that jazz. Okay. So... Going to switch to I think this. Ooh, not seen. Uh, get rid of that. 
Okay, um, and just give me a moment to swap everything over, cables-wise and such, and um, we'll play some Earthbound Beginnings right away.